Hi guys, so today is our last day on Gmail and um, so I'm going to go over this additional thing that you could add on if you wanted to. I really love the way that it looks much better than, for instance, um, the signatures inside of Gmail, but I'm going to show you how they both work. So first we're going to go into um, my pretty signature right here is from Wise Stamp and um, Wise Stamp, and I will just go through it and how it makes everything so much better and so much easier. So you'll just add your information that you want to actually appear right there. So you know, I have another website. So let's see, website two. Let's add that. And then we're going to do um, optimizationschool.com. And um, let's see. I guess I could add the. Um, Well, I'm just going to leave it like this. Anyway, so you can see the um, social icons and I could add another profile if I wanted to, but these are my main ones. Maybe I should add um, YouTube in there because I am going to start adding um, more stuff. So I would just add the profile link right here and then it would be on there. So um, you can kind of pick your colors that you want and your design. So you could just go through and however you have it, you know, whichever one you want, you could decide. And I really like the one that I had. You can also pick different colors, different layouts. I just really, um, I really love it. And I'm not really sure why my other email is probably not showing or my other, um, thing my other website is not showing up probably because of the layout that I'm that I've picked so you could pick different colors right here so that would change the line that you have the you know decorative line that and the email and website links that I'm using I really like that blue um, but you could do anything that you know that you like and let's go into the galleries and then instead of going through them one by one let's pick out um, one by using like this so here here you can see that it finally updated and added my other website to it so I don't like it when it says website one and website two I would prefer if it is um, you know, so the thing about this is that yes, you could put your image inside of Outlook and try to replicate the the appearance, but it's just not going to look the same. It's not going to look as professional, and it's not going to look. Um, it's not going to have this beside each other because then you would have to do a, a bunch of coding. So let's go back to the gear. And go back to settings. And um, if we go to actually general tab and then we'll scroll down and we'll say we want a signature. And this is actually pulling my old signature from, um, from Y stamp. So because I added it into like an HTML thing. So instead of doing that, let's say, you know, I wanted to try to replicate it and you know, that's just an image that I used for <laughs> for a client so uh, let's say I wanted to add this image in there and um, you know the benefit too is that you could add a link to anything that you're promoting and um, and put it in there and obviously this image is way too big but um, let's say that we wanted it to be the size of a business card or whatever and we could add it in here and you can still do stuff inside of here but I just you know as you can see like even getting things lined up beside each other that's nearly impossible so you know it just because I backspaced it erased the whole picture 
And I just think that the cost of Y stamp is pretty low. I want to say that it's 25 or something a, a year. I don't know. It's pretty low cost to something to make you appear um, way more professional than trying to make things work inside of Gmail. Like I said, you can you can use this and I used this for a long time until I discovered the Y stamp and I just really prefer it and I think that it just depends on your preference and you just go for um, go for what you prefer. If you know, I like that this one comes with all of the icons set up in it and it has different layouts and you can see which one works best for you. You can add your image. Um, also, I could put down here, you know, my latest post. It's really easy to adjust because if you look right here, this is the link to it. If I just click it, then it takes me, it opens it up in this other tab and then I can just adjust my signature. So it's not something that I would have to remember. Oh, I have to go to the website and, and go to it and then I have to adjust it. It's right inside of Gmail, the link to it anyways, so that you could just easily click on it and say, oh yeah, I have a new promo. Let me add this to my signature so that it's, um, so it really, you know, kind of gets a little bit more exposure. So that is it for my Gmail tutorial. I hope that I have helped you and I hope that this helps you get more organized, helps you keep your inbox at inbox zero or as close as possible and um, helps you to look way more professional and polished. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.